Most people don't take the time to plan effective meetings, which almost always assures shortfalls or outright disasters. Good meetings, like so many other things in business and in life, require planning to come off well. Without it, the right people may not be present. The ones who do show up may not know exactly why they are there. Too much time may be devoted to one topic while a crucial issue is missed entirely. Commitments may be avoided and follow-up may be impossible or simply forgotten. When attention isn't paid to simple but important details, the likelihood of failure is high. When most people are too busy to plan their meetings, marginally productive gatherings can quickly become the norm. If an organization doesn't foster the expectation of a meeting objective and an agenda, for example, the de facto expectation is for no objective and no agenda. Whatever the majority of people in an organization value in and expect from each other defines their culture. Some cultures are planned and nurtured, while others, like weeds, spring up in the absence of any care or feeding. Being too busy to plan meetings can rapidly evolve from a consequence of having too much to do into an unstated but extremely powerful feature of any company's culture. You are about to change your skills and part of your company's culture. This is a good thing for you and will be good for your company. With some enthusiasm and some effort, you can be part of an important step forward.